But here we are in downtown Brightmoor, downtown Old Redford, downtown Sand Hill, depends on which neighborhood you live in. Right. But all of us gather over here at our Motor City Java, sweet potato sensations. Our downtown is disputed because every one of the neighborhoods I just mentioned all claim Grand River Lasser as their own because all of us use it. It's a friendly competition. We are rolling up now to the new Gompers, the $26 million educational diamond of Brightmoor. But you know, the great thing is that this school has now become like a magnet for uh, people who want to have an impact on education. The neighborhood has changed dramatically, but guess who's still here making hamburgers after all these Sunnies, years? I know. Sunny. I know, I've heard some of the old folks say, you can't get a better hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> Sonny and, um... Uh, Scotty's? Scotty. Oh, yeah, Scotty. Scotty's Fish and Chips. There's Scotty's folks that Fish come in chips. from way out in the burbs. That's right. So we're going to head into the farmway. I was told yesterday by somebody who is an expert in this area that Detroit has more urban farms than any city in the country, and Brightmoor has more farms than any neighborhood in the country. We may have the largest number of urban farms in the world. This is a community garden that for years has been used for youth. Youth have uh, planted the vegetables and so on and learned and marketed them at the local uh, yeah. farmer's market. So here we sit in the nexus of the new industrial era. We have artesian farms unassuming in the exterior, transformative on the inside. Jeff Adams and his business have taken this building and made this into a social impact organization that now employs five people. And he sells lettuces to high-end restaurants and grocery stores. He now has 25 I didn't know that. vendors. Wow. He's well, looking for another for facility. We're driving up toward Finkel, where the Brightmore Artisans Collective is, and they have created a commercial kitchen where they have classes and they also have opportunities for the local farmers to work using the commercial kitchen with their produce. There's a weekly farmer's market here that's been a part of the new Brightmore. The new Brightmoor is people of all hues ages working together to make a good thing happen. It's people taking their unique gifts to contribute to the good of the community, and especially the youth. Who has since retired from the work, but look, look what she saw. It's going. <laughs> She's down the street. Funding made possible in part by the Detroit Land Bank Authority. The Detroit Land Bank working to build better neighborhoods throughout the city. buildingdetroit.org